Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Light Years Animation Studio. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps support the studio and it helps support the channel. Also, you can go to Light Years Animation Studio. We just finished our first project, Rise of the King. This CGI animated film took approximately 10 years to make. It took a lot of work. A lot of work. I can't even tell you how much work this project took. But you can download the movie from here. This is not a click and bait or anything like that. You have that to worry about. What you see here is what you get. And I would like your comments. What you think about the film. I really appreciate your support. Also, um, while you're here, you can check out our gallery. You can see some of the, the models and characters and environments that was created during production. And also, we have a beautiful um, soundtrack also with a lot of nice songs. So I think you'll find this very interesting too. So I appreciate your support. So let's move on to Maya. In this scene here, I had created a very interesting visual effect in Maya. Maya has some very interesting tools. And one of those tools is called the paint effects tools. Let me bring the, the scene up. And in this scene, which you see here, I created a asteroid crashing into the moon. So basically what I really use for the scene, I use a motion curve I use a polygon sphere and I, I, I modeled it to a uh, asteroid here and I took another polygon sphere and made the moon okay so what you're going to see here is basically you're going to see this asteroid crash into the moon it's going to create a crater and it's going to create an explosion okay so how I did that I just basically I put some particles on the asteroid and I also put some particles on the moon so and I create what you call the ink cloth effect the asteroid is the passive collider and the moon is the you know is where the ink cloth effect you know takes effect so also um, I created this image plane in the back. I use a pen effect for that to create the stars. So I want you to check out the image sequence. I use approximately, um, I used about 2,000, about 2,000 frames to create the scene. So let me bring the scene up for you here. Let's go into my folder here. Going to videos right there. Going to videos right there. Going to there. And let's click on this one right here. Going to images. This is your image sequence. I did this in my software. So let me scroll down here a little bit here. And as you can see here, this is how it looks as the asteroid moves closer to the moon. And you can see this fire coming out of the asteroid. This is a result of the particle effect. Okay. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to move down here so you can see something else. And this is after the impact. So the uh, asteroid crashes, hits the moon, creates like a, like a crater there. And it creates... Um, 
like some type of smoke after some particles in the moon to create the um the smoke effect as after the after effect the after effects of the asteroid impact okay so after i rendered all these frames in, in maya software i imported them into my video editing software so let's bring that up right quick Sony Vegas Pro. Okay, would like to restore Odyssey. Yes, I would like to do that. Okay, this is my um, video editing software. So I create all my sound effects and everything here. And leave your uh, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. If you have any questions or or anything about this effect. Ooh, excuse my voice. I know I sound a little raspy. Um, I was diagnosed with a medical condition, medical condition, um, four years ago that um, left my left vocal cord impaired. So my voice is, is impaired just just a little. So I I really apologize for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a blessed day.